Welcome to the machine learning at home. Today I will speak about question which many people ask themselves. So how to find the best way of hierarchical clustering or how to find the best distance for the particular type of data. That question has very many answers. You can go to Stack Overflow or somewhere else and you'll find lots of different answers. I will present you with very simplistic method which will help you to choose between different clustering strategies and between different distances visually with the plot. So first of all I need to load my package. Okay, and now I will need some object which I work with to show you differences between clustering strategies. Of course, it will be distant object, distance object from function dist. And I will take our Iris data without the species column. And to that distant matrix, I will apply function plot best dot h cluster. So that function will plot you results of different clusterization methods in kind of dot chart. So now you see that on the left side there are names of clustering strategies, centroid, average, word, two different words, macuity, single, median, and complete. And dots are positioned in correspondence to how they relate with the result. So, for example, if distance between objects and distance between tips of dendrogram are similar, the dot will be close to the right. If distance between tips of dendrogram, tips of tree, and distance between objects are not corresponding well, the dot will be positioned on the left. As you see here, all methods are very simple. Maybe centroid and average are slightly better than others. But I would say that all these methods except complete are well for your data. So you can use any of them, but don't use complete. This is the result of the plot. So that plot will suggest you which clustering methods are best and which clustering methods are likely worst. Also quite useful information. These numbers which are on the base of the plot and the x-axis are not very informative, so you can simply ignore them. They're not statistical, only used to compare different ways of clustering. Okay, so now we found a visual way to understand which clustering strategy is better. Is it possible also to compare different ways of calculating distances? Yes, it is possible, but with some care. So again, this is only visualization and numbers cannot be used for any statistical purpose. But if you want visual approach, it is existing. So for example, function will be now applying to the core data without dist. And name of function is plot best dist. Will take some time. And we have now similar plot, but on the left side now are names of different distant, distant calculations. So this is data iris without column number five and we use Minkowski, Euclidean, Manhattan, Maximum and Canberra methods to calculate distances between different irises. And then we will compare how well these distances correspond with initial row data. So internally that function used multidimensional scale and converts distances back to some data-like object and then uses correlations to understand which correlations are high. So numbers are not very trustable, but they allow to compare which methods uh, reveal 
more correspondent. So as you see, Minkowski and Euclidean are more correspondent. So distance, which is calculated with Euclidean, is corresponding with the data quite well. Almost correlation is 1, 0, 0. So this is important. So the Euclidean is a default distance method. So you can simply use it. And for example, in our previous row, dist iris, we use Euclidean because if you simply run dist function, it will use Euclidean distance. So it was quite a good intuition. So Euclidean is one of the best. And don't use Canberra because correspondence between Canberra distance and the data is lower than of all other ways of calculating distances. So again, this is how you can approach the answering the question which distance and which clustering methods to use with function plot best h cluster and plot best dist. So this is it for today. Thank you very much.